Hello students and grown-ups. Did you like the artwork of Charlie Harper? I think his art is really fun and interesting and it speaks to me because I like to be outside a lot and I like to feed the birds in my backyard. And today for our activity you have to think about a subject matter that you know you observe all the time or that you you know as part of your surroundings and you have to think like Charlie Harper and use his style so I'm gonna show you my surroundings which is my bird feeder which happens to match perfectly with Charlie Harper's style can you see some birds at my bird feeder right now Backyard. And if I'm really quiet, you can hear like, the birds chirping. And I have my camera aimed at the area in my backyard where my bird feeder is. And so I'm going to walk you out there right now. And then there's lots of snow back here. You can hear my feet. So the idea that I have for my artwork today is to think about the birds that I see at my bird feeder and use Charlie Harper style when I make my art. And I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Now for this activity you can use auto draw or any digital drawing program um, or you can just use drawing materials and that would be any kind of paper, something to draw with, something to color with. I'm going to draw with my black marker so you could see it better on the video but other than that um, the drawing materials are going to be um, something free for you to decide what you have or what you like to use. Now you got to visit my bird feeder with me and see how the birds come and visit and sometimes there are cardinals out there. Um, I haven't seen any lately but usually there are a few that come and visit. I can tell when, because I hear their song. Um, so I'm going to use uh, the idea of my bird feeder as uh, something that I can draw from my surroundings. And I'm going to just try to go real simple. And when I show you the auto draw version, you'll see it's almost a similar design. I'm just kind of sketching out an idea really quickly. I'm trying to think, what would Charlie Harper do? I'm going to put the fence there. That's what I think anyway. Um, and then of course we have all those these, all those stems of the in the summer that is full of purple cone flowers, which attracts a lot of bees and butterflies. But now it's just like a little dried up flowers, which the birds like to eat those seeds too, so I just leave them for the birds instead of cutting them down. And then our feeder is full of feed, and I'm thinking I want to draw um, maybe the bird sitting on the bird feeder. And I'm going to try to think of like, you know, how he used those shapes that weren't exactly realistic, but definitely gave you the idea of the bird. his colors, um, the really bright, intense colors, to 
to show off my artwork and I'll just outline it a little bit but I'm not gonna go into too much detail because maybe you're not drawing a bird I just happen to draw a bird because I do like birds and I have my fun bird feeder out in my backyard so since it was Charlie Harper kind of went together with me but I want you to think of something that you can see That. It should be something that you see a lot or is part of your life and use that as your subject matter. And have a lot of fun being free with your art. Um, doesn't have to look like mine. Doesn't have to look like your friends because your art is you. And everyone has their own ideas and maybe when you're practicing Charlie Harper style art, you'll start to develop your own art style. And I'm just going to stop here. I'm not even going to color this um, right now. I'll do it later. But I wanted to also remind you, look at my artwork is filling the space. Drawing it nice and big. Do that. And then I want to color it in. And I'm going to show you how to you know, maybe just start an idea on auto draw too, but you don't have to do what I do. Okay? Okay, so one way you can do your project today is using auto draw. And can I tell you that it doesn't have to be auto draw, it could be any art making um, website that you feel comfortable with. I know some of the students in my class like pixel art and some like sketch pads. So any of those are fine, but I did want to just show you a couple of things. So when you start your work and auto draw, you know, sometimes I say decide how you want your paper to be. Do you want it to be horizontal or vertical? You can decide and auto draw. Here's a horizontal one, here's a vertical one, and here's a square one. But no matter what paper you decide, you really want your artwork to fill that space. And if you decide to use you know, the pencil tool and draw, um, or the shapes, make sure your artwork fills the page. So what I usually like to do when I do auto draw is start by just filling in the main color. And then I think because Charlie Harper had that um, non-realistic, that abstract look, I'm gonna try to use a lot of these shapes when I make my project today. So I'm going to think about the shapes. Okay, so square and I'm going to pick a black and I am using the surroundings in my home of my bird feeder and all the birds that visit it. Oh, so I want to do fill this in black and I'm just going to go on I like it better when it's filled in with color and I know that um, when I think about Charlie Harper his pictures are very colorful and I think it looks more finished too when it's filled in with color so I'm definitely thinking a lot about color that's one of the characteristics of that modernist style and I'm just gonna on and continue and I can show you what it looks like when it's a little more finished. Okay it worked for a few more minutes and you can kind of see how I my drawing has progressed. I don't know if Charlie Harper would be too proud of me but I think it's gonna come out good. But this is just an idea. You can do any subject matter that you want. And don't forget, you can try any kind of digital drawing program that works for you.